Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got season two, episode nine of the Ricky Gervais show. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Season two. Yes. Episode nine. Yes. What we got? This is natural history. Hmm. Okay. Natural history. Natural history. This should be fun. Should be. Let's go. <laughs> Here's some Carl ideas. Yeah. Let's go. For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. <laughs> this Steve's is eyes. one of them. Interesting. Is that all right? Steve's eyes. Hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. All right. I should start by just saying, Carl, that the natural world is so diverse that we don't even know how many species there are. With plants and animals, there could be up to 10 million species. Um, there are 37,000 different species of spider alone. What do you think of that? Uh, it's a lot. It is, isn't it? A lot. But if, if, if there's loads of stuff out there that we don't know about and we don't know what it's doing... Is it that important? Is it worth finding them now? Well, yeah. Why? Well, it may give us the key to unlock other mysteries. A spider won't. Well, it might do. A spider won't be unlocking well, any that, mysteries. Well, that's... that's well, what I mean is the police know about the gangsters, but right. they go, right, we're aware of them, right. let them get on with it. We'll keep our eye on them. And it's the same in the jungle. The spiders, the deadly ones you're aware of, the ones that are just pottering about, you go, don't even worry about them. Don't even give them a name. They're not doing anything. <laughs> but what if there's another poisonous spider they haven't identified yet that lurking in the undergrowth? I'd be very surprised. So you'd be very surprised? I'd be surprised if there was something... It sounds like laziness on your part. But they're discovering new species all the time. We know about all the dangerous stuff now. Because we have to. We live in no, a world we now. We do. We know about a lot of the dangerous stuff. Whenever they find something new now, it's like a well, new look, butterfly or... Well, no. Well, no, look at AIDS. Well, when I was a kid, I'd no one never heard of AIDS. Yeah, but that's not a natural thing, is it? That's not like a spider or a What do you mean a, it's like, not a natural neighbor. thing? It's not, a, it's not a natural thing. It's not something that's... AIDS hasn't been, like, living under the soil for millions of years, but I'll wait till the 1980s and I'll come out and kill a load of people. <laughs> no, but it is a natural thing. It's a new thing. thing. Yeah, it's new. It, yeah, but loads of animals are new, aren't they? Not in... Not, uh, I mean, it, uh, <laughs> evolutionary terms. There's new animals I'm in sure, evolution. I'm sure there's new stuff deep down that's just, like, almost like bacteria. Sat under the soil, it'll never come to the top. Right? It's like having, having an old woman who's a neighbour. She never goes out, she doesn't bother you. Let her be. <laughs> but, what are you but, but what if that old neighbour could unlock the secrets to... I don't think she can. Just even to us understanding the, the complexities of the universe, of because, the way things have developed and grown. Because we know about it. Well, why would we know about it? Because I never understand why is it you want to stop researching and studying now? Why is it that you're happy to, to just draw a line under everything else? What if people had said this back in the 19th century? We've done this. We've done this. I think it's someone in the 1900s. We uh, said everything that's going to be invented has been invented. And, and then look what happened in that century. Yeah, and I've said to you, look at the stuff that is being invented now. The frisbee and stuff like that. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all stuff that, right. that you kind of go, it's all right, it's a good idea, but it, we don't need yeah, it. Yeah, but the frisbee wasn't being worked on by the top brains of our generation. That was some novelty toy that some manufacturer made. Yeah, but it's like, look at the fuss we made over that fella who came up with a Dyson vac. Everyone was like, he's up there with Einstein. Well, he's not. Uh, he's a good vac. He cleans up floors well and everything. Who said he's up there with Einstein? <laughs> yeah, he's PR of, people. In one of those programmes where they did, like, great inventions of our time, it was easy early on. You go, Einstein, you know, Newton did this, Archimedes, Dyson. <laughs> and they, they started to run out because it is harder to come up with something new now. Because everything that's needed... Remember, the things we've invented are things that we sort of go, we could do with that. 
Inventors don't sit there going, what can I make? Oh, I need a toaster. They've sat there, they've burnt the toast under the grill and they've gone, I need some sort of device here. Well, certainly, yeah, 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 yeah. And what can it do? Oh, Necessity it like that, is the mother of invention. Yeah. However, there are uh, uh, people who sit around going, where, where's a, you know, a loophole in the market? Where's a little where's Well, a here's, niche? here's something. About right. a year ago, I came up with a see-through toaster so that you can see how much the toast is cooked. Right. I found it about two months after that. Someone had done it. Right. So I've just been beaten to the post. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I met a bloke idea. on a conference once who sent a drawing to Blue Peter. It was their designer car of the future, and he sent them a drawing that was a car, and the only innovation was that you can have a shit while driving. <laughs> and then it, he, put, he put shit goes down pipe, which becomes fuel. They must have looked at that and gone... What a mania. I think that's a brilliant... I mean, I've driven a long way. I've lived to Cornwall recently, and I would have loved... But I think he did it when he was about nine, seat. and he must have thought, oh, I'm being driven to school. Oh, I need the toilet. Wouldn't it be good? But if why, this... hasn't, why hasn't that been done? What? Well, like Steve says, I've been in the same situation when you're driving, and you go, oh, where's the service station? You see a sign saying 36 miles. So what would you say? So you suggest <laughs> pull your trousers down and shit down in the seat that's a toilet. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, you've got your nan in your back. She's got one as well. So you are going to call uh... and shitting. <laughs> well, not all the time, but it's, it's, it's more useful to me than a lighter. So also, what, at Where'd what you point wash do your hands? you wash your hands or yeah. wipe your arse? At what point does that occur? Well, at the end a... of the journey. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so you get in, you have a shit at Deptford, and you wipe your ass at a pole perro. Yeah, like I've said to you, this isn't uh, like just people going, oh, I think I'll have one. You need one, not really, but it's something to do, isn't it? I'm sick of playing I Spy, I'm having a shit. You have it when you really need one. When you have to pull off a motorway, it's a lot of messing about. It's probably going to be a queue at the toilet. No more queues at toilets. Ten minutes, Rick, that takes, doesn't it? Ten know, minutes yeah. to Ten pull minutes. off, have a quick shit. Driving along. Just, it's just going on. It's just going <laughs> oh, on. Don't even shit. know about it. Radio's on. Everyone's happy. Doesn't matter. I don't know. I mean, we all do it as well. That's the thing. Anything else you'd uh, <laughs> come up with? There's so many things. Chocolate fountain. Anything like that. I just go, what are these? Who's invented these? Who's okayed this idea? And yet I can't have a shit on the motorway. <laughs> uh, think of computers. Yeah, c- computers are a good thing, and it baffles me as to how they came about. When you think a-, a computer chip is just made out of sand. Now, for someone to come up with that, you go, this- there must have been some sort of alien involved here. What do you mean? Why do you <laughs> think that? So, I love it. So, the Frisbee, rubbish. Anything too clever? Well, it wasn't an invention, it was an alien. <laughs> so, there's nothing between Frisbee and computer chip. <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's not even an idea, is it? What do you mean? A computer chip? <laughs> Where's that come from? Oh, it's amazing. Well, that, it's it, astounding, yeah. So well, you think it was an alien? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's great. Because <laughs> I, I can't believe that someone would go, right, I want to make something that will hold information and be able to do... I don't know, let's use some sand, we've got loads of that. You, you go, what are you... Well, that's what genius is, though, <laughs> But isn't Carl, it? there's no alien involved. No, but when I say alien, I don't mean an alien came down here and said, you know, oh, do you want to buy this? There could have been... Yeah. Uh, a, a spaceship... Uh, crash, right? Right, yeah. And there's all them rumours, isn't there, in that anger. They've got the spaceship, they take it apart, they go, yeah, wheels, we've got them. Yeah, 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 steering wheel. Yeah. And then they go, hang on, what's this here? And they find the chips, and they break it down, and they find Carl, these sand. But the fact that sand makes computer chips is not the interesting thing. The interesting thing is how the human being discovered that, uh, what am I talking about, sand <laughs> makes computer chips, that silicon can have information. Uh, 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 put on it, but we're made out of oxygen, nitrogen, carbon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And hydrogen. It, uh, yeah, but that's na- nature. You see, yeah. nature is amazing. You can't beat nature, right? No, it comes up with some amazing things. Yeah, but man is nature. Don't forget that we are. We're an animal. We're a brilliant ape. We're actually ninety-eight point six percent genetically identical to a chimpanzee, Carl. Think of that. We only differ. On 1.4% of well, our that, genetic that, that, makeup. That must be the arse. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot different. Stupid. Uh. Animal rights is, uh, is a hot topic. It's a big issue.
what right should they have? We test drugs on animals, and uh, we're basically saying, if they die, they die. We'll learn something from them. People do make distinctions between animals, right? They, they know that it's probably more acceptable to kill an ant uh, than... Uh, Punch a cow. Yeah, exactly. I told you, didn't I, about me, my dad's mate who had, a, who had a monkey and he had to thump it. What? <laughs> what, what, what? Well, there's two things there. One, why did he have a monkey? Two, what sort of discipline is thumping a monkey? What was the monkey doing? He kept it. He was annoying his wife a lot and sort of, you know, pinching her ass and stuff like that. Right, no, no, that's wait, wait, we've never heard this before. How have we had all these years no, of sure monkeys we've never heard this ages before? Ages ago. Your dad had a mate, you had a monkey? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure I told you. That, well, why did he have a monkey? Just for a laugh? Well, it was back in the day when you, people did. They all had, like, <laughs> odd in, in, sort of pets and that, didn't they? In, like... About 68. Oh, in 1968, when, oh, when everyone had a monkey. We had to thump it. <laughs> now, the weird thing is... No, that's weird enough. Is this the... This is all the story? This is the entire story? No. You've got all the information you've got is he had a monkey and he had to thump it? Yeah, my dad told me about it. When he found out that I, I was into monkeys, he said, oh, Benny thumped one. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Benny thumped one! Oh, my son's into natural history, particularly uh, Simeon variety. Um, I've got an interesting fact for you, Carl. Sit down. What is it, Peter? Um... Betty thumped one. But, Brilliant. But, but what was interesting is the way that people are thumping other people all the time. No one bats an eyelid. Thump a monkey. People go, you thumped a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, they do! They do yeah. go, you thumped a monkey. So that's what's weird, isn't it? But this gym doesn't want to be caged and kept in a fucking council house in Manchester. No, it, was, it was quite happy. And if it, it wants to live happy. like a human... I mean, in the 70s... You know, there were all, all the tea bag adverts and all that, and they were loving that. No, they were loving it. Fear. People go, oh, that's unfair. Now they, they're in like a cage in a zoo. You go, it was better when I was pushing a piano up a stairs. They weren't really. They, they weren't really. They weren't actual delivery men. They weren't really sitting down and having a cup of tea. Oh. It wasn't a documentary. <laughs> a, a, a week in the life of the monkey delivery oh, men. I love that. Chimps in a zoo now going, okay, now we, at, least we were, at least we were free. Remember when we used to drive a van? And, and, right. and we're on 58 quid a week. Yeah. They're not meant to be kept in a house in Manchester. Cruel to keep a person in a house in Manchester, so it's fucking cruel to keep a monkey. <laughs> when I was about 13, 14, I once tried to improve the animal kingdom by making the hardest animal ever, the most perfect animal. Now, just to clarify, you didn't, in sort of Frankenstein style, no. try and bolt various bits of animals together. It, it was a drawing that I sent to Blue Peter. There was no competition going on. You just thought they would be appreciated. I thought they'd, they'd look at that and they'd go, well, this is, he's a genius. Yeah. This is like Da Vinci. Sure. Um, and this is the animal. This is what I thought, the perfect animal. I mean, when I say perfect, I meant the hardest animal. This right. animal, it could take anything. It was just the strongest, hardest, fastest. Right. Yeah. So... I started with the head of a lion. Of course, that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Sense. It looks good. Right, bite you, right? Okay. I popped that on the body of a rhinoceros. Okay, so it's got the toughness, <laughs> the armour, if you like. The, the, oh, it's full strength. Head of a lion. Think of that. So you've got this picture. Head of a lion, body of a rhino. Perfect. Okay. Hold on, though. Pop some arms on it. The front arms were the arms of a gorilla. The arms of a gorilla. So it could <laughs> punch, grip, it could make stuff. The lion, I mean, that's where the lion falls down, because it can't make stuff. Sure. It can't, quite, you know. Yeah. So, OK, then, wait a minute. You think that's got enough weaponry? Sounds like it. No. Pop on the tail of a giant scorpion. <laughs> a giant scorpion? Yeah. Yeah. So, so a scorpion that's, that's the size so of a Exactly. So the tail is as long <laughs> yeah. as that one. So now yeah. this is a scary animal. Yeah. And this is where the animal fell down. Uh, I thought, yeah. right, legs. Well, the fastest animal is the cheetah. The cheetah. Popped on four cheetah legs. Four cheetah legs. It would have collapsed. <laughs> it it would have collapsed immediately. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah. And you, you drew this, did you? I drew it, yeah. Did you show it to anyone else? Yeah, my mates it? went, that's brilliant. Right. They said, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then just sent straight to Blue Peter. Yeah. Any reply? No reply at all. Really? No reply Surprised. at all. What do you think of that, Carl? If you wanted to make the ultimate fighting animal, what would you come up with? If you had the power, like that fella in Arabian Nights, size of a chimpanzee, you could change into anything, but you could change into, you know, like that. I don't but think I'd go for strength and that. I'd go for survival. What would you do? Uh, Cockroach. <laughs> I'd have... Uh... I'd have, like, uh, an armadillo's body. Right, OK. I'd have uh, 
Head of an owl. Right. <laughs> head of an owl. Yeah. Why? Why? Why come and why? What does that bring to the table? The head's there to sort of make it look friendly to so the human race. <laughs> so, okay. Because if you look half decent to the human race, they'll mm. they'll look after you. Right. So it works. Yeah. Right? Okay. The cat and the dog and all that. Mm. Yeah. So the owl makes it look nice. Right. I'd have. Uh, I wouldn't have legs, I'd go for like the slug juice. <laughs> you mean? So now you're a really slow moving legless armadillo with the head of an owl slithering along. How yeah. is that going to be friendly? They'll, be, they'll see the beautiful face, but then they'll be terrified by the slug. No, because the head's that nice that they'll, they'll forgo the uh, sludge. But hold on though, but wait a minute. So this got, it's got this thing that's stuck, right, going at 0.1 miles an hour with a going. Right, you come over, you kick the head off. How is this? No, so the head can go into the thing like a tortoise. <laughs> can it? Yeah. Of course it can. Into so the armadillo body. Well, no, an armadillo doesn't do that. It just curls up into no, a ball. No, this isn't an armadillo, is it? So it's. Oh, <laughs> Why has it got the slug? Why because is that so what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is an armadillo, they're good when they're on their feet. Flip them, they get stuck <laughs> like a tortoise. <laughs> right. Slug stuff keeps it down. So if anything attacks it, it's like a limpet or one of them things that can Why well, have a limpet stuff. then? But 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 it no. can't get any how it can barely move, it can just go and, get just go and kick it. What just just can't get well, how can it escape from danger? It's gonna move it's rubbish. Slowly. No, what, it's that's not, the worst lock animal. In and lock itself in. Yeah, and then I'll just scoop it up on the side. You can't scoop it up, it locks itself in if it's in danger. I'd give it peacock feathers. <laughs> 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 Why is it got peacock feathers? It's just—it's the worst animal you I've ever heard. What's up with the threatening? It looks more threatening. It does. Well, that's the least threatening thing. Peacock feathers. It's like Danny Larue coming at you. There's nothing remotely scary about peacock feathers. Yeah, to humans. Yeah. The humans won't be harming it because they like the owl head. People will like to have these things in the garden. They eat lettuce. They eat lettuce! They eat lettuce! Why has he got a beak? They eat lettuce! He's telling them what he's going to eat now. The owl's going, fuck that, I want a mouse. I love the fact that he's based what it eats on the fact that how it moves a bit like a slug. Yes. They'll eat lettuce. Yeah. It moves that and they'll eat lettuce. Like I said, it's not that weird if that if that existed. If that was normal, like when you went out to empty your bin, he was one of them sliding up the wall. <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't even double take. You'd just be like, "Oh, there's the uh, the owl head peacock feather thing." I don't know why it's climbing walls in an effort to find lettuce. Yeah, why is it climbing up that wall? Because that's the only way it can see properly. Because its head's coming out like that. So even though you've designed this animal, now it's you're even expanding <laughs> no, its, its limitations. Well, it's, no, it's, it's, it's mainly made as uh, to be on walls. Because <laughs> <laughs> what else is living on walls? <laughs> Now, what a useless <laughs> animal that is! Carl, I mean, but nature chucks up odd things, doesn't it? Don't. Why are we starting on this again? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that is nature. Oh, now and again, no. you'll get, you'll get stuff that. Oh, is he looking at you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his fucking head. Look at his stupid round fucking orangey head and dog. Why, why aren't you a freak? You've got a little bald head. We're not meant to be bald. Uh, well, I, I was, I think. That's the thing, that's what nature's done. You see, I didn't do anything with my hair when I had hair. I didn't style it, I didn't do anything with it, and it probably thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Whereas people who love their hair, and they comb it and have different styles and look after it, they have hair for ages. Nonsense. No, it's nonsense, absolute well, nonsense. What are you saying? <laughs> absolute but? nonsense. Well, it's a little bit weird, then, isn't it? And that's what happens with old people. Once they lose their, you know, will to live, once they lose the job, they get old. What's the purpose? What am I doing here? And it's like nature goes, you're not needed, and they die. Maybe that's what happened with the dodo. What's it doing? Can't fly. Its wings are useless. Eat it. Tastes horrible. Kill it. <laughs> no, they did nature. eat it. I think they did eat yeah, it. Yeah, but it wasn't very nice, was it? I think I think they over farmed it. I think that's why it was extinct, because they did eat it. No, but they did eat it, but they didn't like it. Everybody, you never you never saw like a fully eaten carcass of a dodo. You it imagine this up again. Eaten. All conjecture. No, but they, they didn't eat it all. Everybody would probably try it and go, it's not for me. Though. But you don't know no this. No idea, you don't you're just making this. it up. What's this based on? The just... people, and also, why would that kid it out? Because, I'll tell you why. why. Because if it's not nice, people don't go, don't get another one in. 
and they die out. The reason we've got loads of chickens and loads of cows is because we eat them. If we ate polar bears, we wouldn't be short of them. Because you'd farm it, you'd take more care. But what's a polar bear doing? <laughs> He's right. Sat on a block of ice floating about. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use to us, is it? It sounds harsh. Once again, no got use. his information from a glacier mint no, but it's No, it's no use <laughs> to us. We know they're there, and it's all very sad when you see them on the news sort of struggling and all that. Yeah. But it's going to make them stronger. <laughs> I saw this trailer for this documentary that said uh, the man who's having a baby... And I turned on, and what? it's a woman going through a sex change, and she's pregnant. That's not a man having a baby. That's a woman having a beard, <laughs> having a breakdown. Uh, uh, what, what, why is that? What? That's a con. That is pure sense. Of, it's a man having a baby. Look, the world's first. No, it's a woman. It's a woman. What do you think of that? What would you do for your doctor? And I came to you and went, Carl, listen, I'm having a bit of a rethink of these. Uh, I don't... I, the penis, I hate it. I hate this cock. But what do you mean you hate it? I hate it, I don't want it there. It doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. It just sits there resting on these fucking awful testicles that I'm going to get rid of. I want I want this thrown away. Yeah, well, it's, you know, they're not a great look. <laughs> I know that, everyone knows that. It's just the way they are. I mean, if we're all being honest, they're an odd design. I don't think anyone likes their own, do they? That's why we cover them. They're not a great thing, are they? <laughs> what, it's not why we cover them, though, is it's it? It's part of it, I think. I think deep down, I mean, even if, like, I know you, you ate the Adam and Eve thing, but even if back then he was like, good God, cover them up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that isn't. <laughs> so, are you thinking fundamentally, then, that aesthetically, the testicles and the penis isn't uh. as good as it could be? What would you have there instead? Well, it's, it's designed that way because that's the way it's got to be designed. It's more about function than... Uh, yeah. And, and that's, that's the thing, isn't it? With, with modern technology... You, need, you know, the, the thing is the testicles have to be outside because they have to be a few degrees below body temperature. Yeah. Otherwise the Satoli cells die, which sort of feed to semen and all that. So, they, they, you know, to, to be functioning and sort of like fertile, they have to be outside, which is annoying because I'd put a little rib cage around them like that. I'd, I'd pop a rib cage round those, protect them, wear a cricket box, have that built in, so you cannot get a kick in, a swift kick in the bollocks no, that makes you feel better, sick. But it'd be better if they could sort of reverse up in a way that <laughs> they, they, they were hitting away. Right. Yeah. So that they were just, then you dropped them, it's like, right, we need to cool them down, be at it in about half an hour. Yeah. Drop them down. Yeah, like the gear on an on a aeroplane, landing gear. Yeah, and uh, running it on, and the bollocks and the cooling down. Or you could just like just pop them in the fridge for ten minutes. It's well, like they a... could detach, and you could pop them in the fridge. Yeah. Them down. Can you make me some breasts? Easy. Okay. Got okay, what you say, easy. What are you gonna do? What's your plan? Just. Uh... How do you do that? It's tablets, isn't it? <laughs> no, but testosterone, isn't it? <laughs> testosterone. <laughs> Toblerone. I want. A, yeah, I want some Toblerone. Just well, sort of pointy, <laughs> pointy tits, mm. like with Donna. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you stop, though? Supposing I came to you and said, uh, Doctor, listen, um, I like the bollocks, I like the penis, but I don't like them where they are. I'd... I want them... I want them in the middle of my chest. I want <laughs> breasticles. Yeah? The arse, I don't like it around the back, I can't see what's going on. Pop that on the front where the bollocks were. I want my ass where I can look down and see what's going on. Can you do it? <laughs> I think it's just easier to move the head. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Not like uh, the sex, the you know, the, the, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about, you know, people, you know, a lot of stuff. Like <laughs> Nigga said he yeah. want breasticles. Yeah. <laughs> he want his balls his <laughs> in the middle of his chest. Ah. <laughs> uh. In my ass. 
ass <laughs> my ass in the front where I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> That was about as bad as Carl's animal, man. <laughs> oh my God, Carl! What the hell? That animal will get killed in uh, five minutes ah, or yeah. something. <laughs> it's anything. Now I don't know. I don't know the size as it, as it was, but I mean, it, he had slug legs. Yeah. Armadillo back. It's tiny. Yeah, it's like a little. You know? Yeah, and an owl head. <laughs> Eating lettuce with the beak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nigga, people wouldn't like to see that shit. Nah. People wouldn't like to see that shit. Mm. Uh-huh. I think we out my garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, Natural history, Carl's wild ideas. I, I thought he would have. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how he asked me that first question <laughs> about the animals. Yeah. He had to describe his <laughs> yeah, Ricky's Ricky's animal. <laughs> Ricky's animal might have been worse than uh, Carl's. <laughs> like a gorilla arms. Actually, if I had to, if I had to create an animal, I might have yeah. like a gorilla body. Okay. Yeah, I think I think Ricky was. Yeah, I think Ricky was almost spot on, but I would have gone with like an elephant body. You know what I'm saying? Elephant body. Yeah, elephant body. You ain't gonna be able to go nowhere. Lion head. No matter, man, it's a dangerous animal, man. You know Can I saying? have a human head? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> hey, you can have whatever animal. you want, man. It worked. You, you said we're animals too. <laughs> Look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what did he say? It was 98%. <laughs> 